Setting your throttle free play is one of those really easy adjustments that makes your bike feel more responsive and makes it easier to ride smoothly. I'll show you how to do it in this video from the MC Garage. I am a huge stickler when it comes to throttle free play. Your throttle is one of your most important controls, so it's gotta be precise. Most manufacturers recommend between two to three millimeters of throttle free play. But over time, your cables are gonna stretch, they're gonna settle into their housings, and you're gonna end up with more slack. When that happens, it becomes more difficult to smoothly feed in throttle because there's a delay between when you twist your wrists and when the carburetors or throttle bodies begin to open. To check your free play, roll the throttle forward until it stops, and then gently open it until you feel tension on the cable. The distance from that closed position to the tension point is your throttle free play. It's a little hard to see on this particular grip, but most grips have a prominent seam that works well as a reference point so that you can eyeball the movement. But if you wanna be really thorough, grab yourself some masking tape, cut out two small triangles, stick one on the grip and one on the throttle housing, then twist the throttle and measure the distance. If throttle free play is out of spec, there are two places that cable slack can be adjusted. Up here at the throttle, or down at the carburetors and throttle bodies. The inline adjusters up at the throttle are for fine tuning the free play, whereas the adjusters down at the engine are for making bigger changes. In either case, the adjusters serve to lengthen or shorten the outer housing, which effectively changes the length of the inner cable that's doing the pulling. Okay, so it's finally time to adjust your throttle free play, but I wanna point out one more thing. While this is a really simple procedure, it's made a little more complicated by the fact that there are a lot of different throttle setups out there. The FC07 has the most common type. It's got two cables with one adjuster. If your bike's different, don't sweat it. Just check your owner's manual. You're gonna find specifics for your particular model. But in any case, the procedure is more or less the same. First, slide the rubber cover off the inline adjuster. Then crack the lock nut free and turn the adjuster to achieve that two to three millimeters of free play. Yep, it is really that easy. Once you've got your free play set, go ahead and tighten the lock nut and then to make sliding the rubber boot on a little bit easier, go ahead and spray some silicone on the adjuster. Okay, so if setting the free play left the inline adjuster at the end of its range or if you weren't able to achieve the desired free play, with that adjuster, you're gonna need to finagle the adjusters down in the engine bay. It's the same procedure as working up here, except down there it's harder to access and more difficult to adjust. Before you screw with those though, make sure you set this adjuster to the middle of its range so you have room for more adjustment down the road. Once you set your throttle free play, go ahead and do a safety check by swinging the steering from lock to lock to make sure that the throttle doesn't tighten up on you. Then go ahead and start the bike Swing it from lock to lock again and make sure that the idle doesn't rise. If it does, you're gonna wanna recheck your throttle free play and check your cable routing. Okay, there you have it. How to check and adjust your throttle free play. I hope that helped and I hope you will keep watching MC Garage. Make sure you subscribe, leave your comments below and we'll see you next time.